Hi everyone. Welcome to the break. Here we go, guys. Let's have some fun. Yippee. We're gonna go 45. 45, make my world go around. Good luck, everybody! Coogie to the Slizman. Top half in, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. You guys are in, fellas. On nine, play boys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm sorry, RL. To Coog. You guys are on the lost giveaway list. Give you guys a nice couple of times each. Let's get a good team for you guys now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Giants to Padres on nine. We got DC to DC. See the Giants. She, she, she. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. DC to DC, DC to CJ, DC to DC, DC with the Blue Jays. Alphabetized, bolded, and line it. Yeah, buddy. Sizzy up top. Booyah, Aunt Susie. Houston there. Um, Aaron with the Dodgers. Yippee. Mets. Big team, man. And Yankees. Boom. Pirates. To the Padres. DC. DC, you crushed this filler, homie. Oh, well, they're not that good. Kenny, man. Good for you. Kenny and Ricky, man. Big teams, too, guys. Nice. All right, so that's how it looks. That is the outcome. We went nine there. We went nine there. We went nine there, fellas. I appreciate the fill. I'm going to go grab a case, guys, and we're going to be ready to rock this thing out here, guys, because it's a show. Yeah, buddy. Odds. If I were to fucking hit the power button on an extension cord down here and shut everything down. <laughs> yeah. What? What do you want, bro? You made a, a trade? Braves to IROC. Um, 
Praise to Iraq. Yo, I fucking hope I pull a super right now, bro. Bro, if I pull a super pache or some shit, bro. I'll ask him for you, Kenny. I asked him, give him one second. Alright, well I can start opening, but just give him a minute. I'm sure it'll require in a minute. <laughs> You're the one who gave him away, you fucking yodel. They're an eighty dollar team, bro. And you give him away. I don't hear that dumb shit. You bought four fillers. Fifty bucks each or fifty three each, whatever. So you lost on two of them. Oh, you're here. Oh, sorry, buddy. I texted you. You weren't here a minute ago. I know you weren't, Andy, so you didn't have to sign back in. You could have just texted it to me, and I would have showed everybody. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> Yankees. My Yankees. <laughs> go to Kenny. I know why you did that, because the other day I pulled all the Cardinals in that case, bro, right? I think it's pretty much impossible. Well, good luck either way. Yeah, good luck to both of you guys, man. All right, for the Braves, super frack. I mean, sorry, guys. All right, Sliz. Um, no, Chuck, you, you, you didn't get in. No, you didn't make it, buddy. You got you. You were in, but you just didn't make the filler, bud. I'm trying, baby. You already know, man. I got this for you. Don't worry. Way to start, Niner boy. Hell to the yeah, baby. Not a card fan of the big cards at all. But you know something? An auto is always nice. I think D got hard uh, top loaders for these too just the other day. So I'm pretty sure. Nice, yeah? Good way to start, man. <laughs> and next luck amplifies with trades. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got, man. What is happening? All red cards? Would that be fucking crazy or what, man? <laughs> Yo, this is going to be one of those cases, I'm telling you. Capel Green. That would be insane if that really happened, bro. <laughs> All reds? <laughs> Nick Gordon. Could you imagine some shit like that if it was all red cards, bro? What would you do, bro? I would die. Like, legit. I would call Tops and ask him, whoever packed this, let me know so I can suck their big fat toe. I would love that. Would If that ever happened to me, even if it wasn't for me, just for you guys, you know? Again, all backwards. I love it. All right, we got to watch these, man. I don't either, bro. I would... Wow, bro. I, I'm getting like a, a woody looking. Cardinals first auto up Hudson. What the fuck is happening, bro? Yeah, Glaber is the man. Purple Shizanas Nasnuskis. Nas 
And we're already through two different boxes, so it's going to be the whole case like this. Because I went down, so technically the first layer was of the first box. And now once I get this low, this is the second box, so it, I think it's going to be the whole case like this. Which kind of sucks. Kyle Lewis, there he is. Yeah, you know, I mean, what happens is as the cases go up, teams have to go up, so. You know, I don't, I don't really know, man, you know, it's, it, it's actually funny, you know, I mean, there's nothing really to ask, I mean, that's just what they are. <laughs> there's some teams that have a lot more autos and they're only 20 more or something, but for instance, like the Padres, right, the Padres are 119. If they weren't the Padres, they'd be 200 because they suck, but they have like four top guys, you know, top high draft picks, you know. But because they're the Padres, they suck. Whereas the Yankees, for instance, don't really have great autos, but like because you can get a refractor of Glaber, they're 70, you know what I mean? I mean, because they have a fan base and they sell. You know, you can't make, for instance, you know, you can't make the Diamondbacks a $50 team or go up on those. So you have to take the ones with a good fan base, whether they have huge cards or not, and go up because what do you do? What, what, what do you do? I mean, you can't really go any higher on a lot of teams, so you have to kind of spread it out. There's going to be a few teams like that. It's going to be the Braves. It's going to be the Indians. It's going to be the Rockies. You know, they have mediocre guys or one just one okay guy, but what what do you do? Do, you, do, we, go up on, do we go up on the uh, Tampa Bay Rays? You know what I'm saying? Which one do you want to go up on? Pricing PYTs is not easy. Plus, not only pricing them is not easy. Uh, like, uh, Akuna might have refractors in this, though, no? Doesn't Akuna have refractors, non auto in this? You know, there's a whole bunch of things. Well, what happened, and this is a true story, we start breaking a product, and then all of a sudden it goes up, bro. I, I don't I'm just letting you know the truth we start breaking a product and start making phone calls to get a product and it fucks up the whole industry because they raise the prices because they know if we want to break it there's a reason so you know <laughs> that's that's honest to God's truth is not to toot not to toot our own horns or nothing but that's really what happens if it ain't easy I give you my word it happens to D every day and he gets very frustrated with it you know but what do you do do you not break it or does it go up and it sucks for us because you know people like you know you get the busters like before oh the, the Marlins are up ten dollars yeah they are because guess what <laughs> it's gonna cost more to break the product we don't want that we'd like to have the product cheaper <laughs> product is cheaper that's a good thing <laughs> And man, DC knows the hobby very well. It's a, you know, that's why I like, I like cheaper, you know, cheap breaks that have good high outcomes, you know, like when I do fillers and it's like 50 50s and it sucks, I know the only real way to make money or, 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 or be good, you know, to do it is, is hit 50 50s. I know a lot of people don't like 50 50s, but I like them for a reason because that's the only way to break to make sense anymore. You know, you get your favorite team first, of course, or the big teams, and then to fill them, you know. Damn, this is annoying as shit right here, man. No, I mean, yeah, it, you know, flattering or whatever, but at the same point in time, it sucks for, for everybody else. Not just you guys, it sucks for the whole industry, because if we ask for it and it goes up, it's going to go up for everybody. <laughs> I hate this backwards stuff. It's killing me right now. I, <laughs> Dunning refractor. Oh, yeah, man. 
Hey, uh, DC, is the music on loud or no? Tremel for the Reds. Bam. Is the music on loud? You can't hear music? Nobody can hear music right now? Music is good for you. You don't hear music? It's low. I can hear it. Uh, interesting. I love how some people can hear it more than others. It, it, it makes me think, like, what the heck? Come on, you motherfucking stickers. Money Munson, you out there? Yeah, isn't it weird? Green Bowers for the Rays. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to put with. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing. I have a TV on the background. Yeah, I wish I had a TV on the background. Oh, wait, I do. Yo, you know what show I've been into a lot lately, man? Well, Quantico is good. I don't know if you watch Quantico, but Quantico is mad good. Quantico's a great show. With that Indian chick, man. Great show. Um. What else? Wow. Well, I don't agree with you, Rob. I don't agree with you. I used to. Well, no, I never really agreed, but I don't agree with you. Here's why. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me if you can hear me, Rob. I've been watching this Netflix series about the monster truck. Oh, you're going to watch the great one then. I didn't know that one. Yo, I got a good one for you, bro. I got a great one for you. Matter of fact, I'll get the name right now for you, bro. It's on Discovery On Demand. The name of this show is... Rob, can you hear me? I'm going to tell you why. I used to believe that. I don't need more because I know now. But I used to be just like you and believe that. But that's not the truth. Oh, me too. Me and Megs love the blue... blue uh, Shades of blue, bro. Are right, you ready for the best show ever? It's called... Oh, no, it's on history. Hold on. All right, so you hear me. So I'm going to tell you. This is what happens. What you, What's your favorite sport? Yo, the name of the show is Truck Night in America, bro. Check it out, DC. Truck Night in America, bro. It's insane, bro. A blue McGee. Truck Night in America. All right, what's your favorite product and or sport, Rob? Yeah, buddy. Here comes gold. Hit! Zeech for the Blue Jays. Gold. Alright, baseball. What's your favorite baseball product? What's your favorite product in baseball? Yup, History Channel. Black Chapman for the A's. Alright, Bowman Chrome is your favorite, alright? Do you consider yourself an avid breaker or just here or there kind of breaker? Bo Bichette. Bam, baby! Let's get that to gem out, kid. Let's get that one to gem out, kid. Avid breaker or a here or there breaker, Rob? Hey, Janet, what's up, my friend? Uh oh, my boy's home now. He's buying. Bowman Chrome Baseball is your product. Birdie.
Manning, Allard, So here's what I'm going to say to you about when you, before people say, everybody always wants to think about greed right away, but I used to be in your same boat and agree. I used to think distributors were actual, one you know of the truth. I used to think distributors were dirtbags. But you like Bowman Chrome. Do you want to break top series two baseball for, you know, a little less than Bowman Chrome? Not much less, just a little less. Do you want to break that? Do you want to break 100 cases of that? Because we do hundreds of cases of this Bowman. Hundreds of this. You know, this is draft, and this is 148. So there's like three different Bowmans or four different Bowmans a year. So 100 and something times five different Bowmans. What, what do we have to do? About five to 600 cases of regular Bowman and Bowman Chrome and all that. So you don't want to break Bowman. You don't want to break Panini Elite Baseball. You don't want to break that. But in order for these distributors to get that product, the main companies, Tops, all them, tell them, hey, look, you want all these cases to sell and make money? No problem. Buy all these cases, and we'll give them to you. So now when people complain about prices going up, the reason they're going up is because of the breakers, not meaning us. Well, yes, us and you, the breaky, because you don't want to break junk. Yeah, you don't want to break garbage. So, when these distributors got 6,000 cases that are taking up dead weight on their shelf legitimately, and they have to lose on all 6,000 cases, you know, whether it's losing 200 a case or 500 a case, they're losing money on those cases, point blank. So, that's why things have to go up. It's not us. We would love for it to be the same as it came out on release day of all products. But then you have to take the good with the bad, you understand? Because then if a product goes down, wait, you want us to drop the price, right? But you never want to go up. And I'm not saying you, I'm just, I'm giving an example. I'm not picking on you nothing. I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? And you don't, yes, and you don't want it. Just like I don't want it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want that shit either. I'd rather, I'd rather make less money and break more of this more times. And they have to do that, bro. Come on, man, you know? That's the reason the industry is getting twisted. Is not because of the distributors. It's because of us. See, what happens is these Panini and Tops, they, they put all their bids in in the players' associations, and they got to make the money up somewhere, so they have to keep making these products, even though some of them really suck. If they don't make X amount of product to make X amount of money, it doesn't make sense to buy the licensing. That's why, Ken, what I just said to you. That's the reason why there's so many different products in the world. Because the company has to make money. If they don't make an X amount of product, they don't make any... They, they, they end up losing money after they pay for the rights. Yup. Release junk products. They have no choice. Gum. I thought we were supposed to have gum in them. Ha <laughs> Yeah, buddy, I like you, man. <laughs> he said fucking gum. <laughs> Hurt up. No, no worries, Kenny. Thank you, man. No, I just explained it to you. You should get it right there. They have to make an X amount of money to make money. So, like, they already doubled Bowman. They can't do nothing else to it. They made Bowman waves and non-waves. So they literally doubled the product run of Bowman. Zeech. Now they have a, a Zeech like this. And they have the same Zeech in a wave. Gold wave, blue wave. They already doubled the amount of Bowman they make. So they can't do nothing more to Bowman. So, you know what? All right, fuck it. We got to make another product called this. Yeah. People, it's so funny, too. Like, people always feel that they know the deal all the time. Oh, you make this, you make that. You don't know, believe me. You think. You might think you know what you're talking about, and it's real fun and, and all that, but a lot of people don't know. Oh, you did this many cases, you don't realize it. Yeah, we did a few cases, and this was the cost 
and we made we made good money. Yes, we did. <laughs> but then every other case, we get crushed on. You know, we get crushed on, and that's life. It happens all the time. All that collegiate football, all that NT fucking base uh, football. Oh, that one wasn't backwards. All that NT uh, collegiate NT national treasures. Like we lost thousands upon thousands on that shit. <laughs> People only ever see the good. They never see reality. <laughs> well, they were asking about different products. And, you know, I always try to keep it real, man. I mean, that's the only way I know how, man. Tell it how it is. Tell it how it is, baby. They don't use distributors. They use... Well, yeah, I guess they do, but they're not real distributors. It's it's vendors. Target and Walmart, there's vendors. So people get a vendor's license, and they become a vendor for a certain store. And then they stock the shelves. But it's not anything special. You know, you, you're just a, a vendor. I've, I've, I, they're all flagazi, bro. I don't care what nobody tells me. I've been to Walmart. I've been to Target. I've been to all those on release day. They don't even load the shelves, half of them, bro. They're liars. Straight up liars. Oh, yeah, we're going to load the shelf. You know, they're supposed to do it on certain times, just like we, you know, release and all that stuff. But they don't do it. Trust me, they don't do it. Done. Some stores, I'm sure, will do it, you know. People who don't know about cards. But I guarantee you, a lot of these people that you're talking about that load the shelves of Walmart and shit, they have people on speed dial like me even. Hey, uh, hey, G, I'm going to the store right now. I got this many. I'm loading them. You know, and if you know the connection, you have an in, you can always get to them first. Yeah, that's right. There's so much more to it. But that's what they do with those Walmarts, bro. Yep, see, there you go. Excel. Excel is the target distributor. See, I don't know their names, but I know they're different from regular. Reynolds Purple. Hey, JP. Well, yeah, the vendors own the product. 101 AJ Puckett Plate for the Royals. Yeah, the vendors own their products still. Yeah, of course. Low. You know, with all big corporations, not everything, but a large amount of corporations, they don't pay for shit up front. They say, you know, you you know, they people like me and you and, and everybody else that want to put their product in the circulation, they die to get a contract like fucking Toys R Us or Walmart. Oh yeah? Oh, I can I can be in your store? Okay. This is my product. I'm gonna load all your shelves with it. And then they have people it's like the bread comes and they load the shelf with all the bread. And then when that shit gets rung through the register, they do payouts, you know, when they're loading up the shelves and shit, they get paid then. So, yeah, the, the companies come back and get their cards, of course, definitely. Whatever's not there, you know. Yeah, janitor, some people get real lucky with it. I have not really ever... I did New York, believe it or not. I used to get lucky quite a bit. When we first were starting out, I used to get a whole bunch of blasters, bro. The, you know, wow, now only two are flipped over. What happened to this case? So I used to get a whole bunch of blasters and give them away in breaks and different things with them and whatever. I used to get lucky in New York with them, but here I haven't got lucky yet, really. They were, they were open to put back in? <laughs> they did a badass job of it if that's the case. <laughs> Oh, yeah, bro. People do some grimy things. There's a guy, I'm not going to mention his name because most people on here know this guy. He's not like an everydayer, but he used to be. This fucking guy, bro, he used to do some shit in the stores with that stuff, bro. We used to laugh about it and stuff on here, so I mean, it's not like I'm blowing him up or nothing. But he used to do some fucking shit, man. Load the carts up, fucking breeze with them, this, that, open them in the store, weigh them, all kinds of shit, bro, he did. He got popped, though. <laughs> he got popped. Reynolds. 
green. Yup, and the people at the counter, they ain't ever gonna know. If you have a lot of time on your hands, you could be a greasy dude at like Walmart and Target and all that shit. Agreed right there, JP. And Janitor. Black Hansen. Even though it'd be easy to get away with it. Yeah, I mean, it all comes down to morals, bro. Pack searches are us. Yeah, pack searches are us in Target, right? I never understood years ago what people were talking about pack searching. Never understood it. And then I had, I, I, I kind of got a glimpse of it because like a long time ago on eBay, even just recently I bought some, maybe about seven, eight months ago. You go on eBay and you're going to laugh and I know all you're going to go try this right now, but it, it's the truth. Go to eBay and type in Super Fractor Pack. Louis Green and you will get online right now, 59, 79, 109. You could buy a pack of Bowman right now and they guarantee a Super in it. Guarantee it. I've bought maybe three to four of them so far in my span of breaking. I've opened some on camera. I've opened some not on camera. Pots. And every time it's a garbage player. It's never a good player. So how do they know that, bro? And I've searched a pack. I looked at it. I looked to see if it was resealed in any way. And from my eye, it don't look resealed. I don't see nothing that I would call Flagazi. I've seen Flagazi boxes and packs. I don't see nothing Flagazi with, with these. Like, you know how you, like, you see a lot of older boxes of, like, old-school Topps Chrome basketball and shit, and they're, like, look like they're re-shrinked and all that? A lot of times, that's just from heat and stuff and, and, and sitting and, and, like, going from hot to cold on shelves and it extracting or whatever it does. And, you know, it looks funny, but they're not, you know? Like, that happens with the Leaf. We got this Leaf product. I don't know, I guess they used a cheesy-ass resealer when they when they made this product. But, like, every one you look at, it looks so bad. I'm like, wow, I don't want to break that stuff. It looks like we, re you know, it was, like, resealed. But it just gets like that from sitting in these boxes. It's called Leaf Unopened. It's so bad. And that's how the old-school basketball gets. But I'll tell you, man, that's what people do. I, they have to. How else are they going to sell a pack guaranteed a Super Fractor other than the weight? And then every time it just happens to be a fucking bum Super Fractor? No. Not buying it. Every time, Irby, that I've done it. Maybe it wasn't four. It had maybe five or six. I've done it quite a few times. I, I actually returned one of the packs. I'm like, this is bodegas. I returned it, but I never ended up sending it in. I did the return, and the person accepted it. That was another thing that made me think that it was Flagazi. He accepted it without anything. He's like, accepted. I was like, Tyler Wade, orange. There you go. Very nice, buddy. Yeah, so the guy just accepted it. So I knew it was some Flagazi shit, but I never ended up returning it. I just didn't send it in. You saw the messages from that guy? Who, which one? Fucking Wood? The guy with the... the, guy with the, 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 the car that was trying to return. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually texted me. I just couldn't... I lost his number. He was pulling my phone. Out, he said he gave you his number for a reason. Yeah, but I didn't have his number. I wouldn't even open the case. Oh, I would have contacted him. Me, saying, oh, I texted the other number. Oh, yeah, I talked to him on the phone. I texted him back right away as soon as he texted me. Talked about the guy with the LeBron, right? From yeah, PayPal. He texted me saying he texted you and he didn't get back. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I talked to him. This morning. Yeah, I talked to him. Actually, as soon as I woke up, it was the first thing I talked to was that guy. Yeah, it's a guy I haven't heard back from the number. He keeps writing question mark, question mark, question mark. I said, he gave you his number for a reason. I don't know what you're doing, talking about. Oh, maybe, yeah, because he hit me at 1048, and then I didn't wake up, and then I responded as soon as I seen it at 326. I responded a whole bunch of times. Yeah, that, well, that, he probably hit you first, yeah. I felt bad returning it, but, like, if everybody says it's fake, what the fuck are we going to do with it? I don't want it, you know? the guy who said, yeah, I'll take it right back. Right away. Oh, yeah, I'll take her right away. Like, does he know? Yeah, he didn't even say anything. I don't know. Uh, same situation, I guess. But I'm just glad that I found the transaction. I had to search for that shit for, like, fucking three hours. Because I didn't know the day it was on. Yeah, you corn shady shit sometimes, man. You know, but, you know, again, people always just look for avenues. You corn, they just... They just always look for avenues. Um... 
hey, you know, to each their own, man. You know, you gotta, when, when you, you know, I look at things like this. When I was a kid, you know, I did greasy things in the world. Everybody has. But you know something? As you mature and stuff, man, if you if you don't overcome that shit, I mean, you all laugh and joke and stuff, you know. And when you're doing something like that to Target or Walmart, you know, you don't even feel bad, you know, most people. They just fucking whatever, you know. But eventually, you know, that little kid comes in and buys that pack again that you just fucking returned knowing it's garbage, you know. Like, that's fucked up, you know. I don't know. I always think of kids, man. My my first thing is kids, because I always think of, when I think of sports cars and stuff, I think of you know kids right away. You know, I mean, I was a kid, man, and I was so addicted to this hobby. Ridiculous, bro. Like any money I got went to this hobby, like nonstop since I was a kid, man. Like I remember I'd work my balls off just to be able to go to the hobby store to buy that fucking big pack. Kurloff, Kurloff, yeah, buddy. I used to be big in the old school when Frank Thomas and Ripken and those guys. I used to get all the flares and Fleer Flare, like the big packs, like $15 packs. But back then, that was huge. $15 pack in a day was like a fucking Bentley. <laughs> and then I'd get nothing. I'd open it up and there'd be nothing in it. And hey, that's just how it goes. Black Batista. Pots for the Cardinals. Oh, I don't know, bro. I have no idea, bro. He's not here, but he's here every day on the low. I could ask him. It's not going to be shipped for a couple of days, so I'll ask him, bro. Mikey. Those shoes are insane. Purple Will Smith for the Dodgers. Very nice, Compton. Need a kaboom color? Got you, gangster. I got you, baby. Yo, King, you out there, dirt bomb? What's that fake ass King? Is he here? Oh yeah, it's gonna. I don't know how much, but he's not gonna want cheap. I I tell you, I think it's a two thousand dollar card, at least. It's the auto. I mean, the regular ones. The regular uh. The regular shoe ones are like the one one platinum bars. I say like a thousand to fourteen hundred max. But with that auto on there and the shoes, I put that shit at like two twenty two. But that's high end though. You know that that's that's what it's worth. I don't mean like if you're trying to buy a quick PayPal with a deal. You know that card could sit on eBay. That's. 1600 for, you know, you put it up there and put an offer, it could sit there for weeks with nobody making an offer on that thing, you know? He might just want the quick 15 1600 you never know. Black Will Craig. Is he? Yeah, that's good. Turn my life around. I'm telling you, bro, you're gonna love the truck war in America, bro. Fucking sick. Such a great show. There's only 11 episodes. They fly through them, and it's a real fun thing to watch, bro. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it, man. You're gonna love it. It's so cool. Jones Blue for the fish. Yeah, the ounce is what? I don't know. I mean, bro, I used to, it's funny, I used to do precious metals. That was my whole life. I don't even know what it sells for anymore, man. What is platinum now? It's got to be, what, if gold's 14? It's got to be a 1,000 an ounce, right? Wow, baby! Only thing they can plug you on this card for is centering. Only thing. This card is sweet. Let's 
spend my life alone. I'll never come home. All you get is a busy town. Black Shelby. Platinum, wow, it's that low, Mark, huh? I haven't checked in years, bro. Mark, I used to make so much money, bro. I would scare you if I told you the money I made, bro. I would, It would scare you. It would scare you. But that money is not worth my family, you know, and being able to be my family like I am. It's not worth it. I have a scheme, bro. It's not a scheme. I just say scheme, but it's not a scheme. It's, it's, it's legit. You make so much money. You can do it anywhere in the whole world. Right now. You can do it right now. Here. Anywhere. It's such a good gig, bro, I had with gold, silver, and platinum, bro. It would scare you. <laughs> nah, I ain't talking about that, bro. So big, man. So big. It, it's unrealistic, bro. I was, I was buying and selling cars. Me and uh, Megs. I grinded for a while, stacked my chips. I started buying and selling cars. Me and Megs, like, literally, bro. I buy five, six, seven cars at a, a clip, bro. Megs would be cleaning them, detailing them. I'm fixing them, flipping them. Made crazy money. Stacked it, and then one day my mother-in-law gets this job. And she's all excited. She's telling me, oh, I'm making this kind of money. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm making 400 a night. And I'm like, how you doing it? So she tells me, and she tells me the thing, and it's like, it's all legal, I had to get a business license, I'm doing this, and whatever, and I was like, I start looking at numbers, in my mind, I'm a numbers guy, bro, I just, numbers is, I've always been numbers, so I'm like, I'm like, alright, I'll tell you what, how would you like to do it, do the same thing you're doing, uh, she did it for like three months, making great money, I'm like, how would you like to make this, do the same exact work, but make double what you're making every night? She's like, how, how? And I'm like, just don't worry about it. And I'm just like, I'll give you the money. I'll back you with the money on what it is. You know, it was like every night you needed 10, 20, 30,000. I'm like, I'll back you. And you just do it for me. And we'll be partners. So I fucking got into this, bro. And these fucking girls, man. Yo, November, December, and January for like two years straight, bro. I cleared like... A hundred racks a month. <laughs> like legit, too. <laughs> Those are the busiest times of the year doing it. It's so fun. But it takes a lot of time, you know? You're away from your family. And now, I mean, no matter what, the money ain't worth it to me anymore. Right? No matter what. I'd rather... Yeah, man. I mean, hey, you gotta try everything, man. You gotta try everything, kid. It's a great system, though, man. It's a great system. Middle aged housewives, bro. I'm telling you. Best thing ever, bro. I ain't talking about no casino skills. Alright, guys, a little recap, little recap nation. Here we go. Wilson, Thias Gold, Trammel, Tyler, Curlaw Blue, and it's not off the card. He did not go off the card. Telling you, the only thing they get you on is this little decent, undecent centering. It's a little lower down here. This, I will bank this nine fives. Curl off pots. Will Smith purple. Curl off base. Um, Gold Reyes. Tyler Wade. Chrome to twenty five. Chapman. Hudson. Potts. Lewis. Reynolds. One on one. Puckett. Pint. You don't got to be a salesman in what I, I'm talking about. Dunn. Torres. Zeech. I didn't even do it actually. I just, wow, two Zeech. I didn't realize that. Zeech Gold, Torres again, Sheffield, Whitley, Birdie, another Bichette. Ah, uh, Bichette, I mean. Tremel, Lauer, Dunning, Lowe, Welker, Lewis, and Hudson. Overall, I thought it was pretty nice. Yeah, thought it was pretty nice, guys. Thanks for the fill, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Uh, this is 149. Sorry, I had to say Thanks again, fellas.